there's there's numerous ways people can pay for solar. Uh, companies offer financing with zero money down. There's lease options, power purchase agreements. You can go get a home equity loan, whatever you really want. Cash is also an option, but you know, why not leave your cash in the bank and, and uh, go borrow it for no money down? Wow, benefits to each. Um, everyone's got a benefit. Cash, you own it, you get the maximum amount of savings, you get the full tax credit and that. A zero down payment plan or a zero down loan for 10 or years or so, to me is probably the most advantageous. You get the full tax credit, you pay the thing off in the shortest amount of time and you're gonna save the most amount of money over the long haul. People go, well, what's my rate of return? I go, it's infinite because you put no money down. You have zero invested, so you have an infinite rate of return. If you put your cash into it, then you gotta sit down and calculate, hey, is this a good investment? Am I saving enough money? What's my return? But with zero money down, your return on investment is infinite. Other people like to talk lease. You know what? We don't sell a lot of leases. I don't think they're the best option for most people. If maybe you're retired and you don't have any tax liability for whatever reason, then leases are a good option because what happens is the person that owns it puts up the money, they take the tax credit, and then they lease you the system at a net amount. Uh, it is a better deal than, uh, than a PPA. PPA to me is the absolute worst. PPAs are called power purchase agreements. So anytime you see somebody on Facebook or whatever going, get a free solar system, nothing's free. Nothing is ever free. So again, it's called a power purchase agreement. Just because they put the solar on your roof and you sign some documents saying they can do it and you're gonna buy electricity, a lot of times those things have escalators. There's the cancellation provisions are terrible. Really what you're doing is if it's a $20,000 solar system that you could have financed for 10 years and paid $20,000 for, you're buying $80,000 worth of electricity. That $80,000 is the money you should have saved had you bought this thing with financing or cash. So don't ever look at a power purchase agreement. If you don't have the money, lease, loan, the credit scores are about the same for both, but power purchase agreements are evil. They are not in the best interest of the homeowner. They are only good for the company selling them.